FOD. Yeah. Who's currently on FOD at the moment? Uh, uh, Artist-wise. Currently on FOD at the moment, me, Dollar Dang, uh, Grizzly, Black Jesus, D.O.T., Nuke, and uh, Tay Mouth. Dollar Dame? Yes. Damien Lillard? Nah. Oh, different Dollar Dame. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, these guys both from, that you- Both from East Oakland. Oh, okay. I think, I think his name is Dame Dollar, though. Oh, Dame Dollar. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Now, the similar. Yeah. Very similar. Now, um, these guys, how did you come across these guys to add them to your label? Uh, well, I've had people in the past before from my neighborhood or whatever, you know, help them with their music, put their mixtapes out or whatever, but some didn't take it as serious as others. You get what I'm saying? So none of the people that I named, or, or, well, two of them are from my neighborhood, but it's just like I grew a relationship with them, and they just want to take the music serious, so I just look, lent, lent the help a hand. You know, I had already, you know, put the pavement down and, and, and laid the bridge or whatever, so I just, like, gave them the game how to follow whatever I've been doing, you know. I just tell them, like, basically, the best thing to do is work and get the buzz up and get your name out there as, as, as much as possible. So two of those people that you named are from your, your neighborhood, yeah. then the rest are, are they all from California or different areas? All from California. Close to the Bay or spread out? The Bay. Mm, I see. Now, since two of those are from your neighborhood and the rest aren't, um, how do you go about choosing who you want on your label? Like, why choose um, some of those people that you chose compared to others? The two that from my neighborhood, it's not, it's not like a given choice. Like, because Funk or Die is like the hood motto. So this was, this was before me. I see. You get what I'm saying? So it was like, this is what we was brought up on. This is like the meaning of our neighborhood. So if you're going to rep anything, you're going to rep that. You get what I'm saying? So if that was already like a given to them. And I, I didn't necessarily choose the other guys. It just came an opportunity to where we just did business together. I see. Yeah. Are you related to any of them biologically? No. Okay. I see. Now, the only one I was related to was my brother. Uh, he was on FOD too, but he's incarcerated right now. Is he going to be able to get out anytime soon? Uh, he got 15 years. Mm. Yeah. Now, of the people that you named, are you looking to add any more to that um, roster? Or is it? I'm not necessarily, like I said, I wasn't like necessarily looking for artists, you get what I'm saying? Like if the opportunity come and somebody can show me that they can, you know, hold their own and, and cause I, I'm, I'm more to try to show you how to be a boss yourself mm. instead of like trying to rely on somebody or need a helping hand or me having to babysit an artist, you get what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, I'm still an artist myself and I still have to do shows and do verses and perform and shoot videos, whatever. I don't need somebody, I have, you know, I need a, I need a, a, a asset, not a liability, you get what I'm saying? So. If if the opportunity is right and you could show me that you you're really serious about this, because I don't I can make phone calls to 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 do a whole bunch of things for you, you get what I'm saying, or whatever it is that you need done. But if you're not taking it serious, it's really pointless. Is that hard to do? Is that hard to uh, run up a, a record label or a crew like that and still be an active player, so to speak? No, not for me because I, all I do is work. Like I don't really do nothing else. I don't watch TV. I don't really go out unless I'm being paid to be in clubs. Like, all I do is work. Since I got off the plane, straight to the video shoot, after the video shoot, straight here. Like, I'm not, that's what it is. I just, and while I was, while I was over there, I was working. I had, um, we just, me and one of the artists shot a video. I sent it out for somebody to be um, put up and all type of stuff. Like, so, and I, I've always had that boss mentality, to, boss mentality, like, whatever I do. Like, even with my videos, like, I gotta make sure it's what I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm always on top of every, every, everything from my titling to words, putting on like songs on iTunes, everything. Like I, I'm, I'm my own brand, so I got to make sure that I'm on top of it more than anybody else. I mean, you named a pretty lengthy roster. Is that ever, does that ever get time consuming or does it ever get in the way of what you, I mean, because you're still an active person yeah, yourself. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because like I said, if they can't hold their own, it's just really pointless because I, I, I tell them from the beginning I don't have time to babysit. Mm. So if you need me to hold your hand and walk you through everything and you're not trying to figure out things also on your own or, or, or not trying to be a boss in the situation also, um, then I'm with the wrong person. Mm. What about females? 
all those people you named are, are males, male yeah. artists. I never had a female artist. I tried back in the day, but she ended up getting fucked by me and my cousin, and it just didn't work. Mm. Yeah. As you've gotten older and matured and gotten wiser, do you think it could work in the future, or is that? Uh, yeah, it probably can, because I'm, I'm, you know, that was like younger, like younger days. This is before, this is before like it was, I was even pushing the FOD movement so hard, you get what I'm saying, for the music-wise, but it was just, Females want to come around, I want to sing, and this, is and this, and we try to take a female serious, and she come over to the house playing music, and then one thing leads to another, and I mean, it, it, it's, it's a, you got to separate the, you know, the business from pleasure, and sometimes females try to use, you know, I, females come around and tell me they sing all the time now, I just be like, all right, call my manager, talk to him, let him know he can handle it, so I don't even put myself in that position. Now, was it awkward after that situation? Um, nah, it wasn't awkward. It just fizzled out? I mean, shit, after that. Or did feelings get I, involved, or? Of course, women work with feelings 24-7. Mm -hmm. I mean, but at the end of the day, it is, it is what it is. I didn't have no feelings. And then, you know, like I said, she fucked me and my cousin, so. <laughs> I mean, well, sometimes. It, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> shit, it, we end up not talking to her no more, and we kept it moving. I see. So distracting. Um, if it's not like, if it's not serious, if it's distracting, you trying to be around, you trying to be around the in crowd, then uh, yeah, it can be. You know what I mean? But if you just trying to do that, you just trying to get fucked on and don't waste your time. But that's like they use different things, like oh my cousin rap, oh I rap, oh I sing, or I do this and I do that to try to get around you. You know what I mean? Mm. So now, has there been any artists that you came across? And again, you talk about opportunities. If it's an opportunity that presents itself, of course, maybe it can lead into something. But has there been any artist that you came across where an opportunity presented itself, but for whatever reason, it didn't follow through? Like maybe there was somebody you wanted to do something with and it just got lost in the shuffle and you regret it. Like maybe there was somebody you could have signed or added to your roster and now they may have become bigger in their own right doing something else. Anybody nah, you regret not nah, A lot of people always tell me, like, you need to sign this person, you need to do this. But when they tell me that, it'd be more like on some trying to come up type shit. And I'm like, I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't, I don't need to come up off nobody. I'm not trying to f sign nobody to lock him in to a contract for the rest of his life so I can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I believe in karma, so I ain't, I ain't trying to do all that. Like, I'd rather just lend a helping hand it, you, need to, you need to know this or whatever and, and let the man be his own boss. You get what I'm saying? Now, if he come to me like, hey, man, I'm doing bad. You signed me 50000 for five albums or something. If that's what you want to do or some shit like that, that's, you get what I'm saying, something different. But I'm not trying to, you know, trying to do shit like that to come up because people like that don't win. Mm. I see. So what do you get out of it? I don't get nothing out of it. I don't get nothing out of it. I mean... If, if if I want to do, like, we can do a partnership to where we can go 50-50 with something if if we want to. But other than that, like, I'm, I'm not worried. I'm fine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine. I, I get more of me just being able to play my part as in, you know, being from the Bay Area, being one of the hottest guys out there and still looking out for upcoming artists that's trying to, you know, get in the game or whatever. I, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't care about getting nothing out of it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. nobody you've... Um been like, dang, I could have signed that person, but I didn't. Dang, I regret that decision. Nah, nah, not yet. It's never happened. I don't. I don't. I don't really think like that. 